As Iranians mourn the death of the country's president, Abraham Raisi, and the foreign minister, state media reported that the country will hold presidential elections uh, to replace Raisi on June 28th. Iran's Supreme Leader Atul Ali Khamenei has declared five days of mourning and said that the country's vice president, Mohammad Mukbir, will assume interim presidential duties. Iran's first vice president, Mukbir, on Monday led a cabinet meeting. The 68-year-old will organize the election of a new president. He will do this with help from the Speaker of Parliament and the head of the judiciary. This is a serious incident for all of us. It is sad and upsetting. But in the interest of the country and our people, we won't have any disruption. The country will continue moving forward under this leadership. Everyone should continue on with their roles despite this incident. In no way will this tragic incident interfere with the government and running of our country. Mukhbir is a former cleric and prosecutor and is widely seen as a potential successor to Ayatollah Ali Khamenei as Iran's supreme leader. He was appointed as the vice president in August 2021 as Raisi took office. Moreover, the Iranian government is probing the helicopter crash. Officials say that there was heavy fog and poor visibility when the Bell 212 helicopter was over mountainous terrain in the province of East Azerbaijan. Meanwhile, U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin said that he did not have insight into the cause of the helicopter crash that killed the Iranian president. Regarding uh, the death of Iran's president uh, in the, in the uh, very unfortunate helicopter crash, we, we continue to monitor the situation, but um, we don't have any, uh, any insights into the cause of the, of the accident uh, at this point. Certainly, I know the Iranians are investigating or will investigate, and, and so we'll see what the, what the outcome is once their investigation is complete. Um, in terms of uh, our force posture, I don't have any announcements to make. The White House issued formal condolences to Tehran but said that the Iranian president had blood on his hands. Some of the worst human rights abuses uh, occurred uh, during his tenure as president, especially the human rights abuses against the women and girls of Iran. That said, we regret any loss of life. We don't want to see anyone die in a helicopter crash. Um, but that doesn't change the reality of his record, both as a judge and as the president of Iran, the fact that he has blood on his hands.